In this video, we're going to take a quick look at using Kindo UI Mobile with Icinium to develop native feeling applications. Kindo UI Mobile enables you to target iOS and Android platforms with Icinium to develop platform specific look and feel native applications. Kindo has many features besides just doing the theming of making your applications look like native applications. There's lots of things to explore and I'd really suggest taking a look at their website. As you can see, they really have the feature set that's going to allow you to really take advantage of the entire platform. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to quickly create a Kindo-based application in Icinium, and then how to use some of the other features from Kindo. So here in Icinium, I've gone ahead and said that I wanted to create a new project, this time using the Kindo UI Mobile. And I'm just going to call this the Kindo Demo and click OK. So when this project gets initialized here, we have all of the assets that we need to make Kindo Mobile operate within our application. You can see it goes ahead and brings in all the JavaScript that it needs and the images and CSS. And if we take a look at our default page here, it's gone ahead and referenced all that JavaScript and the CSS that it needs from Kendo UI. If you look down at the very bottom of the page, you can also see where the Kendo UI mobile application is actually initialized with some of the options that you have for doing initialization laid out for us. I'm going to go ahead and just run this project in the simulator. And you can see here we're looking at an Android phone and we've got the navigation at the top as well as the appropriate dark background with lighter font and this is what Google has said is the best practices for a UI look and feel application on an Android platform. If we take a look at an iPhone simulation here, just like the Android device, here on the iOS device, we've got the platform specific navigation down at the bottom with the right coloring. Everything's laid out to where if an end user were to see this, they'd immediately feel comfortable based on the platform that they've been using. But let's see what else we can do with Kendo UI. So if you come to the website and launch demos, you'll see that Kendo UI also, along with doing our native look and feel theming, has a number of widgets as well as mobile framework elements that we can use. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to consume some of these demos and get them up and running inside of Icinium so you could incorporate them in your own application. If we come take a look at the list view, here we've got a very simple list view that we can navigate around and we can click on. In this demo demonstration, the background color and the title bar has actually been changed. And if we take a look in the Android platform, here those elements have not been changed and we get just a very basic scrollable list. Now, on the website, all of these demos are actually, the source code to get them to work are right below each of the different simulations. So I'm going to pause the video and do a little cut and paste magic here. And I'm gonna get the same demo working on my Icinium project. So I've gone ahead and just removed the other screens that were in that starter application. I've gotten rid of like the Google Maps reference, but you can see I've still got all the other references in here. And I copied that list from the demonstration site of Kendo. And I went into the CSS here and I did make a few little changes. I didn't want to bring over those graphic images and stuff, so I just commented that out. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like running now. So here's that one list. You can see it scrolls really nicely. I'm in an 
iOS device, and so I've got a very standard looking background here. If I go onto an Android device, you can see once again, I get the very standard Android looking without making any real code changes. Now there are some interesting tidbits here. Kindle Mobile will actually allow you to target using CSS based on your platform. So here you can see that if I'm running an iOS platform, I want slightly different elements to be affected in list view elements. And that's how the background was also done on the demo site. So I could have gone ahead and targeted very specific look and feel elements for any of the platforms, iOS or Android, just using simple CSS and Kindle Mobile. I hope this really brief view into Kindle Mobile and Icinium will get you interested in going and playing with the different elements yourself and seeing how much features and functions that we get out of using Kindle UI inside of our Icinium applications. Thank you very much.